Yo, what is up, you guys? It's your boy, Daddy Goose from Crimson Black Gaming. If you guys are from Crimson Black Gaming, you decided to come on over to check out my solo metal reaction series. Thank you guys so much for coming on over and checking out the channel. Or if you guys are just from the web and you decided to click on this fucking... I hope the mic picked that up because that was fucking on point. Thank you guys for joining us today. And of course... If you guys are part of the 460 subs, thank you so much for joining. We are 40 subscribers away from 500, aka 40 subs from the 500 special video that's going to be coming out when we hit that. If you guys are looking at the bottom left, this is something a little different. Usually we're already on the music video, but I just want to point this out again. Today's video was voted by you guys on the community tab. So thank you for everyone that's uh, voted. Um, if you guys want to have a say in what video is coming at next, hit that bell so you guys know when I make a community tab post because we've been doing votes for the last, I believe, three episodes now. Um, so like I said, if you guys want to have a say in what band is up next, hit that bell button, check out the community tabs, leave a vote. And uh, with all that being said, if you guys haven't been able to tell already, we're doing Spirit Box today. And on top of that, before I show you Spirit Box, look at the new, just hit myself in the ear, look at the new list. Holy shit, it's full as fuck. We have lots of new stuff on the list. And I'd say it's safe to say we probably have room for one more band right at the bottom of this page here. So leave a suggestion. And uh, we can get at least, well, not at least, just one more band. But we got a bunch of new stuff. We got Lorna Shore, a band called Sleepy Time Gorilla Museum. Um, Slaughter to Prevail, Ice Nine Kills, Villagers of Iowana City. Hopefully I said that one right. Uh, we got Mick Gordon. We got some Doom soundtrack. Um, Shadow of Intent. We got a bunch more from them. We got a band called... Vild Hijarta, not sure what that is, and some more make them suffer. But today, wherever it is, uh, Spirit Box, uh, we're going to listen to, uh, I believe the song is Secret Garden, I believe, Eternal Blue, and fucking I haven't picked the other one yet. You know what? Electric Cross has been on there for a hot minute, so let's do Electric Cross as well. But first, we'll do Secret Garden. I believe because I think I wrote it down wrong and I think Eternal Blue is the album name so that's why it's a little longer than it should be. I don't know what it's actually called because I'm just guessing but let's get on to it. All right Spirit Box Secret Garden it has been a hot 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 minute since we've listened to them so I'm really really glad you guys voted them in and fuck I don't have my iPod beside me damn I was going to show you guys if you guys don't already the last time we listened to Spirit Box um, we listened to Blessed Be, and uh, it's iPod official, and uh, it's surprising because I feel like we just listened to Spirit Box Blessed Be the other week, and then I realized it's because I'm still listening to it every single day because it's that good. So it caught me by surprise that it's been so long since we've done a Spirit Box uh, reaction, but that would be why because I'm still listening to it. Uh, so Spirit Box has a high potential of getting that iPod official song. We just never know when it's going to come. So I'm really, really excited to listen to Secret Garden today. With all that being said, let's get it. Spirit Box, Secret Garden. Where's the pause button? There we go. So, one thing I'm noticing so far about this one is 
I don't know. Maybe maybe this is a hot take. I'm not sure. Uh, let me know what you guys think about what I'm about to say. So far, I don't find that the 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 vocals are matching with this beat, which kind of sucks because uh, that starting beat, that riff was really really clean. I really liked it. Uh, but so far, I'm not I'm not matching the vocals to the beat, and it kind of sounds like two different things are are happening, and, and opposed to just meshing into one nice one one nice sound. You know what I'm saying? Um, but let's keep going. Gonna stop before this next part here it's just a weird sound this time around coming from spirit box i i can't exactly pinpoint what sounds so different the chorus however was phenomenal the chorus absolutely fucking slapped me across the face uh that was a really really nice chorus but they got a weird even their rift isn't the same as usual in my opinion maybe i'm wrong uh but it just sounds completely unlike spirit box in a way like, it sounds like Spirit Box, but an experiment went bad, kind of, is what I'm vibing with this. But, who knows, maybe there was still lots of time left, might turn around, I'm not too sure, but let's keep going. Also, it hasn't been heavy, really, at all, which is also different. Maybe that's going to kick in, I'm not too sure. Uh, like I said, lots of time, so we'll see what happens. Early prediction, there's only 24 seconds left. Is there gonna be screams? I'm gonna say, fuck, there's not much time left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go hard. I'm gonna take that high risk, high reward. There's gonna be like five seconds of screams at the end here. But I don't know, there's not a lot of time to work with and the beat's closing down. So I don't know, but let's see. No, doesn't doesn't look like it. God damn it! <laughs> I took the risk. No screams. Speaking of no screams, though, that's very surprising. Uh, I don't know if you've heard a Spirit Box song that was all cleans. 
Um, so one thing about this song, I'm gonna think I, I think I'm gonna have to re-listen to it because of this main factor, this one factor that I'm thinking about, which is why I have to re-listen, is that chorus is really good. And the chorus with the vocals and the riff all match up really, really nicely. And the chorus is fantastic. It was like just the in-between the chorus parts that I couldn't vibe with. But because the chorus is so good, if I re-listen a couple times, I might start to like, okay, no, I understand this song and I'm going to start to like really, really like it. Um, and that chorus was just carried so hard that I think there's a potential I could like it more and more the more I listen to this song. So I'm definitely going to have to take another listen after the recording. But with the way it stands now, with just the chorus really standing out, and, and that was about it for me so far, and no screams, which is wild for Spirit Box. Um, but with all that being said, I think for right now, I'm going to put that at a 65.5. I almost, you could see it, I almost gave that 65 dead on, but that I'm going to give the 65.5. It was just a very solid, just, you know, I'm going to say it again, basic song, but there's nothing wrong with basic. It just stuck to the core roots of just a nice, easygoing song. So I think a 65.5 is fair. And uh, like I said, I think the more I listen to it, I, they might bump up to a 70 once I get that vibe of what the vocals and the riffs are going for. Uh, but for right now, I think 65.5 is fair. With all that being said, let's move on to one that's been on the list for a quite long time. Electric Cross. Okay, Spirit Box, Electric Cross. Now, I didn't see how long ago the other video we just listened to was. I'm not, so I'm not sure, but I know this one's been on the list for a while, so I looked to see how old the song was, and this is a four-year-old song, so I'm not sure if we're going to hear a different sound from them. Maybe it's going to kind of throw back to that Mara effect sound, where they're just kind of starting out. Uh, I have no idea what we're about to be uh, in for, but it's a longer song, five and a half minutes approximately, and uh, I don't even remember what Electric Cross is about from the comments section. It's just been so long. I probably should have re-looked at the comments section. But we're about to find out anyway. So I guess it's going to keep it a surprise. Um, and with all that being said, let's get on to it. Spirit Box, Electric Cross. The fuck? Holy shit, that's a five second pause. What was that? That was not what I was expecting. Holy shit. All right. Let's uh, let's restart the song, so we're going to get into the vibe of this now, because I'm not sure what that was, but not what I was expecting. This is the, the complete opposite of the last song we just heard, in my opinion. This is, once again, a completely different sound. Um, I really like that, that vocal tone, though, at the start, though. Uh, another sound I wasn't really expecting. This song's hitting with a whole bunch of not expecting moments, but this is uh, a very different Spirit Box song, and I'm so far, so far I'm here for it, but there's lots of, of song left, so let's keep going.
All right, all right. So this has got a lot going on in this song, huh? Uh, I was really vibing it for a second there. The switch between the the screams and the cleans and the screams and the cleans had a nice little little flow to it. It felt really nice. And then this last, literally the last ten seconds. The reason why I paused. They're just switching it all over the fucking place. The song's an absolute Rubik's Cube of sounds. Um, I don't know if that made sense, but Rubik's Cube sounded cool, and I thought it would be cool to say aloud, but now that I said it aloud, I don't know if it made sense. But I think it did. But I'm going to back it up. I don't know if that last little part... I don't know if I vibe with that. There's a lot going on. But uh, I don't know. Let's. That's. I want to re-listen to it, so let's keep going. <laughs> all over my body from that uh no we're genuinely rewinding that entire section i'm assuming it starts with the most played moment where was this the whole fucking song this is this is s tier what i'm listening to right now complete switch up but i'm loving that sound i love the the at the same time cleans and screams in the background oh my god that sounds good um yeah dude we're we're going back to this part Oh my goodness, that sounded good. If this was the whole song, absolute S tier. But it's not, which is really unfortunate. But we're listening to that whole part again. I hope I hope I got it all, because that was something else. You get the death of your life, life. You stand High risk, high reward, part two. Is there going to be another drop? This time, I'm going to play it safe and say no, because I don't want to look like a fool two videos in a row. So with that being said, low, high, no, low risk, low reward, right? I think that's how I want to say it. 
But if this drops on me, I'm not going to be happy. Dude, let's go. No extra drop. Dude, sometimes I I impress myself with how smart I am. Um, and, and sometimes I impress myself with how humble I am, too. God damn, I'm humble as fuck. Um, Spirit Box Electric Cross. So one thing I want to point out. Okay, so we'll, we'll assume... Okay, 324 is the most replayed moment. So we'll go from there. So the problem I have with this song was I couldn't really vibe with it until 3 minutes and 24 seconds, which is well over half the song. But then that whole second half, S tier. Like, seriously S tier. If you took that moment, 324 to 524, that's a still a 2 minute song. That's like a, a fucking, that was really good. I'd put that in like 80... 82.5 maybe an 83 on a good day i don't know that sound is really really good i love the mixture but it took three minutes and 24 seconds to get there and the rest was like really not even chaotic because it, it wasn't that chaotic but there's just so much happening and chaotic just means like i can't understand what's happening because there's just so much going on but there was a lot going on but at least it was semi-calculated I don't know if any of that made sense. Sometimes I swear I'm just talking shit out my fucking butt cheeks. Um, but hopefully you guys know what I'm trying to get at. With all that being said, and obviously we have to include the first half with, with the rating, it's going to take a big hit instead of that 80, 82.5 on that second half. So as a song as a whole, it, oh man, it sucks. Like I'd say I didn't like the first half as much as the whole last song. But I like this second half more than any of the last song. So it's like, do I put it in the do I put it higher than the last song? Do I put it lower than the last song? <sighs> Fuck, what did I even get the last one? A 65.5 or something like that? Shit. Let's give this one a 65 then. Just a hair underneath the last song. Mostly because it just takes an entire song length, like 3 minutes and 24 seconds could be a song in itself. And the fact that it takes that to get to the good part, I think we're going to put that at 65. Which is really unfortunate, because that whole second half, I wish they had a, a different song based on what they did with that second half. Because it was really good. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think Electric Cross is better than Secret Garden or vice versa? Do you think Secret Garden is better than Electric Cross? Let me know your guys' thoughts. Maybe I'm fucking out to fucking dinner on this one. Uh, but with all that being said, let's move on to today's outro. All right. Spirit Box, Secret Garden, Electric Cross. I think one main problem I had today, which I, I have a really bad problem with doing this, and I'm trying not to do it, but I keep doing it, is sometimes when you have a song like Blessed Be that is like a fucking 80... 86.5 like an 87 song like it's a fucking really good ipod official song sometimes i just have my expectations set way too high <laughs> after that it's like oh spirit box they fucking slap every song has to be just as fucking good as that <laughs> and then i i raise my expectations too high instead of just going into it with an open mind so sometimes i feel like that gets the best of me uh but still spirit box showing up some really good songs uh i i Consider anything in that 65, uh, especially in that 65 range, to be what I would call like a radio song, which if it comes on the radio, I'm going to turn it up and I'm going to enjoy it on the radio. It's just not something um, that would go on the iPod that I, I look forward to seek more, uh, but still a really, really good song. Um, with that being said, if you guys are looking in the bottom left corner, this is Crimson Black Gaming. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of it already in every other one of my uploads, I'm part of a gaming channel. And if you guys want to see more of me, I have a bunch of solo series on the channel. I have a bunch of gr group videos, if I can speak. Uh, so if you guys want to see more of me, want to, uh, you guys want to see what the Crimson Black Gaming Channel is all about, go check that out. I know I'd really appreciate it, and I know a bunch of the other crew members would really appreciate it as well. 
um, with everything I just said. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Can't wait to see everyone in the comment sections and in the community tab upload. So hit that bell. Can't wait to interact with you guys. Daddy Goose out.